Hey, how's everybody doing today? Just thought I'd show you what I'm working on here in the basement. Don't mind the mess. I got junk everywhere. But uh, this is my little tabletop studio. And uh, kind of like product photography studio. And I'm trying something different. Uh, this is where I take all my eBay photos whenever I decide I don't want something anymore. And I'd rather just get the money out of it. Uh, I put poster board back here. And I take eBay shots. I uh, set up a camera on a tripod. Voila. Uh, and uh, I take the shot here. So I got these softbox lights off of uh, eBay or Amazon. I'm not sure. Uh, they were pretty cheap. They got a few switches on them um, that you can turn on three lights, uh, two more, or all of them, you know, basically. So you can control your brightness. Um, same thing with the other one here. But uh, for product photography, it lights it up pretty well. Uh, so in the, for the camera here, I got the uh, Milvis uh, Zeiss uh, 135F2. This is the most perfect lens I own. And I'm shooting with the digital SLR, Nikon D810, uh, which has been kind of inactive for the last year or two. Uh, because I've been shooting mirrorless with the Fuji. But uh, I have it on a tripod here. Uh, this this right here, this extension on the calm, is just completely temporary. It's much better to use the legs, raise them all the way up, just FYI. Uh, so you don't have that extension because you get a lot of flex in the tripod head. Uh, but I got a five-pound bag of sand handing, uh, hanging from the tripod to get it a little bit more stable. And, uh, of course, the Kirk Enterprises BH1 there. Uh, I'm using Live View because I got used to, um, let's get it up here. I got, there we go. I got used to shooting uh, with mirrorless. And you can always see what the picture is going to look like on the back with mirrorless, right? On digital SLR, you kind of can't. Um, I don't know why it's got a blue cast on this camera, but it's actually black in person. Uh, the background's very black. I dialed the exposure down a full stop so it can get black background. The um, That is a piece of black acrylic to get the reflections. So I'm getting actual in-camera reflections. I always think actual in-camera is better than photoshopped because people can tell you're photoshopped. That's real ice in the glass. Uh, anytime you see beverage photography they're using these fake acrylic ice cubes and they never melt and they're always square and uh they're not real so the also the uh i know there's tips and tricks to creating condensation with uh glycol and water and like spraying it on and all that but i'm just uh i'm just using actual ice because i'm going to drink this momentarily uh, i'm just playing around here the uh, backdrop is black velvet. Uh, it looks light in the camera here. This is just my cell phone shooting it. But with the actual compensation, you can't even see the horizon line. Uh, you just see the uh, the background. So I'll, uh, I'll show you some pictures that I did. Uh, I did some flowers and a couple other things. And... Um, that's it, I guess, for this one. I got some more video I want to shoot. I got some more audio content, more RC content coming. And uh, I'm building a uh, cinema rig because I want to uh, I want to take videos up to the next level. So that should be exciting. I got parts showing up tomorrow. So hopefully I'll have that video up for you soon, too. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.